Okay, this is going to be a quick video on what is responsive design. Okay, so I've pulled up uh, several websites just from Google search, and I'm just going to demonstrate very quickly the difference between responsive design and unresponsive design. Okay, so let's see. So these, I believe, are the unresponsive designs when they're opened in a full screen on a laptop. Uh, you know, you can read everything, uh, you can see everything. It all looks very nice. Okay, when I shrink it down here to the viewport the size of a mobile phone, you can see that uh, it the half of the page disappears. Okay, same thing here. And let's see, let me shrink this down a little bit. And you can see there's usually a bar here that you can scroll from side to side. But now Google is frowning on this. They are beginning to pull up in their search uh, websites that are optimized for mobile viewing because over 50% of the searches are now done on smartphones. So this is what uh, an unresponsive website, usually a, a website that's old and hasn't been updated recently. That's what they look like. So let's see uh, if these are, okay, now these are responsive design. So here we go. We look at all of them. These are from um, churches in the area that came up on Google search. You can see they look uh, lovely. This one didn't pull up. Here it is. They look lovely on, uh, you know, a full screen laptop. Okay. Now, when we shrink them down to the size of a mobile phone, you can tell that the <clears throat> the uh, navigation bar is a drop down, so it gives you uh, real estate for everything on your front page. Everything shrinks so that it can be viewed on a mobile phone. It's the same with all of these pages. Okay, all of the pictures shrink, all of the boxes shrink, everything shrinks down so that it can be viewed on a mobile phone now sometimes there's a glitch like this where you know it kind of shrinks but there's one picture that doesn't shrink properly but it's still being read by google as a website that is optimized for mobile okay so that's what all new websites need to be built on responsive platforms so that they can be viewed in any size viewport this would be a mobile phone. See how it stretches uh, for a tablet? Everything stretches and shrinks according to the size of the viewport. So if somebody has a mobile phone, or if somebody has a tablet, or if somebody has a full desktop. So that's what is meant by responsive design.